Alert, Sick Mueller Secret Uncovered, People Need to Know. Special Counsel Robert Mueller, who has been charged with investigating alleged collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government during the 2016 election, is now being scrutinized for controversial actions taken during his tenure as FBI director. According to Judicial Watch, the FBI, under Mueller, purged itself of anti-terrorism material deemed offensive to Muslims. The changes occurred after Mueller secretly met with Islamic organizations, including unindicted co-conspirators in the 2007 Holy Land Foundation terrorist financing case. Judicial Watch obtained the information after suing to force the release of FBI documents dating back to 2013 and 2015. The released material suggests Mueller went out of his way to appease Muslim groups by cutting valuable anti-terrorism material from the Bureau's curriculum. Mueller's FBI said the offensive training documents were removed because an article in question was highly inflammatory and inaccurately argues the Muslim Brotherhood is a terrorist organization. Interestingly, Mueller himself previously said the Muslim Brotherhood was a terrorist organization that supports attacks in the U.S. and overseas. Other items of offensive statements from the training material raise further questions of curriculum choice. For instance, an article claiming Al-Qaeda is clearly linked to the 1993 World Trade Center bombing was removed. Conflating Islamic militancy with terrorism was also seen as problematic, prompting the elimination of that material. One statement considered offensive to Muslims was the statement that those who fit the terrorist profile best, for the present at least, are young male immigrants of Middle Eastern appearance. These changes in FBI counterterrorism training occurred after Mueller met with representatives from a number of Muslim groups, including the Islamic Society of North America, ISNA, and Council on American Islamic Relations, CAIR. Both ISNA and CARE were named by the U.S. government as co conspirators in the 2007 Holy Land Foundation terrorist financing case, in which the Holy Land Foundation, then the largest Islamic charity in the U.S., was found to have distributed money to Hamas-linked Palestinians who committed acts of terror against Israelis. In fact, CARE which has been alleged to have ties to foreign and domestic Islamic extremist groups was founded in 1994 by three Middle Eastern extremists who ran Hamas's American propaganda wing, then known as the Islamic Association for Palestine. This information raises questions about whether Mueller who spent 12 years as FBI chief can objectively investigate the Trump administration. The changes undertaken by Mueller's FBI had significant ramifications for the anti-terror initiatives of local law enforcement agencies. Local police followed the FBS example in letting organizations like CARE dictate what type of training materials were deemed appropriate. In Illinois, the Lombard Police Department said the instructor of a training course titled Islamic Awareness as a Counterterrorist Strategy was anti-Muslim. Although no substantial evidence was brought against him, the course was ultimately scrapped. In another case, the New York Police Department eliminated a highly praised course with a proven track record of success after two mosques, an Islamic nonprofit, and three New York Muslims filed a lawsuit. Robert Mueller's objectivity has been called into question before. As Christian News Alerts noted, Mueller and former FBI Director James Comey are friends, leading to the belief that Mueller aims to discredit President Trump for having fired Comey. Christian News Alerts also reported that leading lawmakers like Senator Rand Paul, Arkey, see the Mueller probe as a distraction that is no longer limiting itself to the express purpose for which it was commissioned in the first place essentially wasting millions of dollars of taxpayer money, payer money.